There's my ship. My buddy's ship's outside. I just created a sort of a little working hangar area which I'm going to expand. Okay, and that's going to go here. So we'll have a way to work on shuttles and stuff. <laughs> anyway, I want to talk about the factory today because I figured it out. Well, when I say I figured it out, this is the most labour intensive way to do it really, but it works and it doesn't produce the wrong stuff. So, over here I've just been playing around with the linking mechanic and as you can see it will link in any direction, up, down, left, right, diagonals, but no, sorry, no up or no direct uh, vertical, you know, you can't go vertically. You can go up and down diagonally in any direction and you can obviously go horizontally and um, other angles work too, you know, you can have a block next diagonally, one next to it, and uh, that'll work fine, so... Yeah, and also they're infinite, and you can walk straight through them, so... Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, the glow indicates the direction it will go in, okay? And that's that's uh, that's it for that. Right, as you, as you can see here, what I've done is I've built them in a slice, and you could put them right next to each other, you don't have to... Um, have them with gaps between but I just thought it'd be easier so you can access them from both sides. Uh, the reason there's a chest here is so that I can remember what goes in it. We haven't got any signs so uh, succumite goes in this point as you can see I've got a lot of succumite in here okay and it's going input mineral separator particle press and the particle press if you put succumite in will turn into the SD1000 microprocessor. The reason for the separator is to break it down to L1 because that's what it wants here is L1. So you can put L5 in here and it will run forever. Okay. Um, so yeah, we take this SD1000 microprocessor and then look at the next level down. So on this one I've got Insanium L1. So I'm going to put Insanium in here. It's going to break it down and then by the time it goes from input separator particle press here we have the SD proton reactor so I know from the sides I've built the sides out of what this thing is building so this is making shields okay so uh, it's just here we've got another plex storage and as I've left one of each in there again so I can so I don't have to remember so it's the and uh, yeah I can confirm that is what I've got so I'm going to chuck those in here and then out of here I will get oh yeah when it runs out of when it, when it only has one it just passes through the input and doesn't make anything so bear that in mind um, but then you can just load stuff straight in here so it's, you can leave it in here because when say if I took like 200 of those okay and I just put them straight in here see the inputs are kinda unnecessary at the moment because I can just put stuff in here and then it will eventually tick down from that stack and make shields but anyway that makes your shields um, and yeah the next one is for salvage no antimatter cannons so again here we are we've got exogen going through an input to a, to a you don't have to have gaps either I just like to look at the pipes uh, <laughs> um, then we got the exogen being broken down and then turned into SD1000 capacitors looking down at this one we've got vaporside in here that's being broken down by the separator into uh, SD1000 delta interfaces so then I can come down to the last one and this is these are 1000s I think let me just double check Oh wait, no, that. Yeah, they're Schemadyne 1000s. So, there were only a few recipes that used the 1000, so I was just like, ah, I'll just build them all here. Okay, so anyway, uh, where were we? So we've got the SD1000 capacitor and the delta interface, so we're going to chuck these in here. And the reason I did this separately as well was because I was finding that, say if you need 50 of an item 1 and 10 of item 2, and then you run out of the item ones it'll just start burning all of your item two down into something else <laughs> sometimes so you you waste your materials it's almost like buying something and then they just give you something else f instead of your change here you go <laughs> have some more stuff you didn't want it but 
So yeah, this is why I've separated it all out now. Uh, so yeah, we've ended up with these, and obviously that's going to go in here, and it's going to make not black hole. So that's weird. Every now and then I get some random stuff. Like, where'd black hull come from? It's not the recipe for hull. Anyway, um, so that ends up with your antimatter cannons. So that's working fine. And then we're going to move on to the next one. So at the top, we're going to put in quantanium. I think you get the idea now, guys. It's got an input, then a mineral separator, and then a particle press. And guess what? we got SD-1000 flux coils. So the next layer down. Okay, we got quantocide here. So, yeah, we've got quantocide. We've got it being broken. Oh, no, we don't have it being broken down. I've run out of quantocide, guys. So, anyway, um, here we can see we need memory modules and flux coils. I haven't got any memory modules on me, so I need to go and find some quantocide. Hmm. Oh, yeah, you check out my 1000 Negagate L5. <laughs> I was organizing all of our ore last night, and, uh, I'll show you that in a sec. But yeah, so this won't build anything until it's got the, the other component. And I need quantocide. So I guess this is a good time to show you, because you get the idea. It's, it's the same thing for the engines. Um, oh, no, wait. No, it's not. So ignore that. It's a little bit more complicated. Anyway, so yeah, for thrusters, uh, antimatter cannons, and shield dispersers, it's a really easy setup. And you can have this just ticking away, stick a few L5s in, and it'll just burn away. All you have to do is take the stuff out of these and put them in that. Now, I appreciate you could build this purple block right here. And then you could get a pipe and go pipe in. Well, actually, you take it from here. You go there, link, link, right? And what it would do is it would take both of those materials and then it would put them together. But... And it would do it all automatic. You wouldn't have to actually... But this is the problem. I found that it sometimes makes the wrong stuff because there are shared recipes. And so I have to keep stuff separate like this to prevent that. Anyway. Um, but some of them work like that. And I'll show you the energy uh, generators next. But I need some quantocide. Now, if I get the quantocide, I can see that it's sort of green. Kind of greenish. Let's have a look and see if we can find some. See, I've made an ore wall. Okay. L1, L2, L3, L4, L5. Obviously, I haven't got some of them. And I haven't broken down some of them. So there's a few holes. But we've got... A s that's every ore in the game. Right there. And there's five more types over there. So if I'm looking for quantocide, I know it's kind of greenish. So is this kind of greenish? That's octogen, right. None of them are kind of greenish. I guess this one's kind of... There we go, Quantocide, right? So I'm just going to take all my L4. No, wait. I'll take 200 L4. Oh, what, have I got no room? There we go. 200 L4 in here. And we'll take it back over to our processing for thrusters. And whack it in there. Wait, just double check. Quantocide. You don't want to put the wrong stuff in. That'll get really confusing. Right. Quantocide. There we go. So now that's going to start churning away. Yeah, off it goes. Beautiful. And so now I get to show you... The... This is a little bit more complicated, okay? Um, let's just see. That's... Right, so ignore the middle for now. Right. This bit down here... You put grass patch in here, and it makes it into a protein. Is that the right protein I've got in my inventory? 1000B. Is it 1000? No, I need 40,000A or something. Bloody hell. Right, anyway, you put the grass patches in here, and then that will turn into the protein. The protein comes into this block, and this block is already receiving um, from the top row. The top row is the most important row. That's the bit that does the making of the power. In this side, we put in extranium. And it's the same as the other ones. Extranium in the input. Then you got the separator. Then you got the, uh, the press. 
okay, extranium, L1, um, and then we look in here, and we've got exogen, exogen in the input, exogen in, goes into the, into the uh, separator, through the press, and then we get to... Schemadyne 2000 is what this one is. And then we connect the Schemadyne 2000 by selecting the Schemadyne and collecting, uh, clicking V on each of the presses. So you do it that way around. <coughs> and that is what's making the uh, that's what's making the engines, the power gener power generators. And then they're being pumped into here because what's happening here, guys, is basically. Um, and I haven't quite figured out the other side yet, by the way. The other side is still a bit tricky. Um, I haven't figured out the whole production. It sort of works, but the plextanium just keeps getting made into the wrong stuff. I think it's because I didn't have enough rock. So I'm going to try. I'm going to go and find some rock and try that again. But until then, we're just putting hull in here because we're finding so much of it anyway. So you put the hull in here and uh, it combines with the generators and the protein that's made from the grass so all you really need to find is grass and everything else will be built by itself you put your harvested holes in here and you get your uh, power holes out okay that's basically what we're doing here is we're making the, the hardened holes that's all this area is for um, just looking at this I think this is making black paint so that yeah this makes black paint out of Put the tall shrooms in the top because they don't actually need to be um, changed. I need to put one of those in here so I don't get confused. Okay, and then we put sand in here, then it goes through a separator, uh, same as all the other ones, just more compact because they didn't have enough room. And into press where it's turned into the bottle, and then obviously the tall shroom comes through here and turns into the paint, black paint. And because I wanted to make black hole, so if you put grey hole in here with black paint from here, and you set that up like so, now it will make the black hole, you know. But to be honest, the colour wasn't all that important at this point because we've we've found so much stuff. I mean, this is what I was going to talk about. What I've basically done over here is I've put each ore on the wall uh, under a chest, and then the chest has got level one, level two, level three, level four, level five. Okay, and look at this, 61, 687, 401, no level 5 there, 375, no level 5, no level 5, 800 level 5, 282, see, I found out in the server options, 884, if any of you guys want to play it with not silly loot levels, you can actually adjust it yourself in your server.config, so the only reason the loot is so ridiculous right now, look at that, the only reason the loot is so ridiculous is because they want people to finish the game. They want people to beat the game in a couple of days, give the feedback. It's all about that. It's all about getting the info so that, you know, they got the, they've got the feedback to develop the game and fix all the bugs. And they can't do that if everyone's still grinding level 1 for three months. So, yeah, if you want to play this, like, legit, Really, you've got to go into the server config and adjust all the loot levels down to like something more reasonable, like 0.2 or something. It's, it's at point 0.9 of 1 right now, so this is about as heavy, it's being as generous as it can be without giving you, just giving you everything, you know, um, like a creative mode or something. Um, and it's very exploitable. I reckon that the, the blueprint system should cost twice as much. It shouldn't be market value, it should be double. Because otherwise, you get a lot of people spawning just chunks of engines and stuff, and and then they just go in build mode, and it's a bit easy to exploit the, the system. I mean, yeah. So anyway, that is engines, thrusters, uh, guns, and shields. That's how to produce them. Um, I've started organizing my stuff underneath chests because. This was so much. You, you, this is so useful because, like, I can't remember what to put in each of these damn things. So, how about just leave one next to it, and there you go. You're done. So, that's what I've been doing. I've got like a sort of a chunk, a chunk of containers here for just 
you know, I need to unload my stuff. I mean, this is one thing I found is really, really annoying. Um, if I'm going along, this is this is my entire inventory here. So, I mean, if I go into a storage chest, it's exactly the same size. Which means, say I've just killed an enemy and it drops a bunch of loot. My inventory is full. There's three more enemies there, but because if my inventory is full and I pick up more items, if they're not the same, they don't stack, they just disappear into nothing. It even says items lost because inventory full. So, there needs to be some kind of loot scoop module, like a computer, or a, like a weapons computer module, like a little block, and all it does is it says, okay, you've got chests, you know, you can, you can link it to your chests, you know, so I could like say, put this loot scoop block down, like one, two, uh, oh wait, of course that doesn't work, doesn't it? like one, two, three, four, I know they're doors, yeah, but just imagine that's the loot scoop, okay, and then you basically go C, V, 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 all around it, and you link it to your storage, so that you know, even if you, you don't have to have four, you can just have one, you know, just link it to all your chests. And then if you run over, if you run over a, a bunch of loot, it just puts it in the chest. Because I'll say something, it's really annoying uh, having to get out of the ship to, because you, when you press R, because I've got chests in my ship for this, for this reason. If I'm out looting and I, my inventory is full, I've got to come in here. And I've got to go R, and then click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. There's no control click or shift click or all. There's nothing like that. So you just got to click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. And it's um, often what actually happens is you'll still have like four ships shooting at you. And this is what happens when you get out of your ship. Oh, it worked that time. See, often you just sort of end up in space, and then you have to like dodge lasers and <laughs> swim around basically from usually here a spoon spawn here and I'm like ah, maybe it's because my maybe it's because this isn't big enough but I had a much bigger one before and it still did it then so unless your block is like just floating with nothing around it and the whole point of this you got to armor plate the core man but anyway it's sort of teleports me outside the ship and then I have to fly in, unload the things, you know, getting shot at and then I can get back in and literally having to do that four or five, I mean, I suppose it's partly because again, there's more loot than you should be getting right now, but anyway, I suppose if you tweak the server then you wouldn't be getting that much, that much loot, so. But yeah, anyway, this is all coming along very nicely. I started um, putting a few of the fancy stuff here, like like I did over there. But instead of going along, I've gone in a grid to see how that works. And it looks a bit crazy. I don't know if I'll keep it like that. Um, we'll see. I mean, this seemed a lot easier to use. But obviously, you don't have to move as much for this. Because we very rarely use the gravity, to be honest. You know, I mean, if... They should have a perk so that if you have the gravity on, yeah, you run faster. Yeah, but at the moment there's no advantage to having the gravity on in your station at all, because it's quicker to fly. Yeah, I also thought having a short boost, like a short boost jetpack, just when you push a button, you could press shift or something. I don't know, and it just go psh, just a short boost. Because sometimes you need to get across, like, you know, little areas. Say my ship's there and get pirates. Oh, these aren't my, these, these are, these are Agent Nipples' ships. He got a bit annoyed last night because the uh, turrets, they don't, they're broken as hell. He had a load of turrets on this and none of them were working. They'd, like, work for one wave and then they'd stop working. You have to get out and reactivate them all the time. It's tedious, very tedious. And they're very inaccurate as well considering all the time that you put into them. I mean, I don't know if you can increase the accuracy maybe somehow, but I haven't, I haven't looked into it, so. But yes, um, that's pretty much it, I think. So that's the update, and I'll get back when I've got some more, some more Star Maid stuff to show. 
but um, yeah like I say the station's coming on quite nicely we're gonna rebuild it all in all in a hole we're just <laughs> cheated a little bit because there's so many L1 ores <laughs> when they break down you've got like 20,000 L1 ore and I was like well do you know what I'm just gonna build the station out of that because we've got more of that right now like stupidly like oh, just thousands of L5 that will turn into millions of L1 it's silly but um yeah it's going well so I'm gonna carry on with this and uh, hopefully make some more uh, factory lines because there's a few more items I'd like to have for free and obviously anyone can set these up you just fill them up and let them run I mean let's see for the while we've been doing this uh, oh, I was in build mode <laughs> right while we've been doing this let's see how much it's made quickly uh, this is where that jetpack would come in real nice like psh, straight across there okay come on right let's see how many I've made It's made four. It's made fourteen hundred, I think, unless they were already there. I don't remember how many there were. You'll have to go back and check. But it's made fourteen hundred now. So that's it. And uh, like I say, we did have all the oil in a jumbled mess here. I've still got to sort out this lot somehow. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Got so much stuff here. It's like, pfft. jeez, it's too much stuff here. Just find out what it's used for and build a factory for it. Right then. So, see you soon. Thanks for watching.